Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you my nighttime skincare routine. So I'm going to show you some of the products I use to take my makeup off and to wash my face. And then at the end of the video I'll show you some of the products that I use in the morning. So I do apologize for the lighting, it is nighttime, And I know it might look like I don't have any makeup on, but I do. I have eyeshadow, eyeliner, and some face makeup. So if you like this video, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. And I also have a vlog channel and a Twitter account if you're interested. I'll leave them in the description box below. So I hope you enjoy this video and thank you guys so much for watching. Alright, I'm just going to get started. First I like to take some baby wipes and some Pond's Cold Cream Cleanser. You can use makeup remover wipes if you would like to, just as long as the towelettes that you do use are moist. So I just go ahead and dip my finger in this cold cream cleanser and I like to rub it in my hands a little bit. And then I will put this on my face wherever I have makeup and just go in a circular motion. You want to be gentle and try to go upwards if you can. I do like to do my face before I do my eye makeup only because I like to do one eye at a time just so I could see what I'm doing. So now I'm showing you what that looks like with the cold cream cleanser on. Just take the baby wipe and gently rub the cold cream cleanser off of your face. You will see that the makeup will be removed along with every wipe that you do. You just really want to be gentle with your face because your skin is very delicate and you don't want to cause any early wrinkles or anything. Just be very gentle with your face and move in an upward motion if you can. Now I'm just going to show you how I do my eyes. I like to do one eye at a time like I said. Just really focus on your eyeshadow and that stubborn eyeliner. And also, um, don't forget your eyebrows. Just rub that in and take some more if you need to. And after I do that, I also like to rub my fingers off just because I don't like any of the cream on my hands. Now with your eyes, you want to be extremely gentle because it is a very thin part of your face and is very um, prone to wrinkles, I guess, and you really don't want to cause any wrinkles. So that's what it looks like with one eye done. Now after I do both of the eyes, I do kind of like to rinse them only because I don't like the, the feeling of the cream on my eyes. And you can see that I do have some leftover makeup. So I just take a cotton swab and some makeup remover. This is Estee Lauder um, Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. Just go ahead and dip the cotton swab in. And then just take all that extra makeup that didn't come off before. I like to do my lower lash line and my top lash line as well. And I also run this through my eyebrows um, just to get any product that may not have come off the first time. If you need another cotton swab, you can use it. You can see all the dirt that's still on there. So I like to take the other end and dip it in and do the same thing on my other eye to remove the makeup that's on that eye. An eyebrow. <laughs> so now I'm taking my Olay Pro X cleansing brush. I do not use this every day. Um, this did come in a pack from Costco. It came with this cleanser, which is Exfoliating Renewal Cleanser. And for days that I'm not using that, I use this Acne Stress Control Make a Face Wash from Neutrogena. And also my Checks and Balances Face Wash that I did not show, but I did do a review on. It's from Origins. So first I just wet my face, and I wet the brush as well. Now what I like to do is take the soap on my hand and then rub it all over my face. If you want to put it on the brush, you can. This is just how I like to do it. I just feel that it works the best way for me. So just gently put that cleanser all over your face. It does have little microbeads in it. And then this brush has two settings, a high and a low setting. I do like to use the low setting to be gentle on my face. I feel like it does work for me. So I like to focus on my chin, the corners of my nose, and the center of my forehead because that seems to be where I get the dry, the driest, the dry, nasty skin that is flaky. <laughs> Sorry about the lighting. So after I exfoliate my face, I like to 
just rinse it and then pat my face dry. Again, you want to be very gentle with your face. And there you go, all clean. So now I like to take this simple, soothing facial toner. This has no alcohol in it, and I just like to put this on a cotton swab, and then I rub it all over my face, and so I also like to do my neck. You really don't want to forget your neck. Again, that sensitive area too. And I take this Olay Age Defying Classic Night Cream. I just go ahead and dot this all over my face and then rub it in in circular motions, trying to pull my face gently up, not down, because gravity once again. This cleanser, or this moisturizer, is sticky, but I don't mind that as long as it's doing its job. So just go in circular motions and upwards. And then the next thing I'm going to do is use is eye cream. This also came in the kit with the brush and the cleanser from Costco. It's the Pro X Eye Restoration Complex Cream. I just like to take a little dot of this on my finger, and if I need more, of course, I can always go and grab some more. So I'll show you what the dot looks like. Just a little size like that. Just go ahead and dot this um, underneath your eye very gently. You can just pat this all the way in, but what I like to do is I actually like to rub it in underneath my eye, um, very gently of course, and I like to go in the corners of my eye and also up above. Try not to go too close to the eyeball, it does burn and is not recommended. Um, I don't do that anymore, I try to be very careful, but I did do that in this video for some reason. And there you go, all done. Now I'm going to show you my morning routine. Alright, for the morning, I like to take that Acne Stress Control Power Cream Wash from Neutrogena and also my Checks and Balances Face Wash, which I did not show again. I do like to switch that off. And then I take my Simple Soothing Facial Toner once again and just apply that with a cotton swab as well, cotton ball. Then I take this Garnier Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream. It's for normal to combination skin. It's just a gel, it's very cool, very refreshing, perfect for the daytime. And then when I'm going somewhere, I like to use the Garnier Skin Renew Daily Moisture Lotion. It has SPF 28, which is really good for your skin. And that's it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I will be doing Valentine's look very soon, so please keep your eyes open for that, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.